Hi, uh, another dull day. Some lovely skies going across. This is one I did Saturday. Uh, it's a bit bleached out on the actual photograph of it or the print. But when I look at it, I thoroughly enjoyed painting it, but I should have put more of the sky into the water here. But I'm going to do a similar one to that, but I want to try to show a, a, probably a, a more accurate way of, let's show you, of reflections. I could show you the, hold on, I'll show you the original, that would be easier. Now, in reality, um, with a large body of water such as that, the, the reflection here looks good, but it probably isn't strictly accurate because you seldom look across a, a large lake uh, where the water is uh, wind free, it would be rippled. But if you see reflections at all, they're further down because this water going off into the, the distance wouldn't show the reflection really, unless it was a small lake and you were looking further down. Um, so you would have a sky colour or white light colour across the horizon and the reflections coming just the tips of these further down broken then some ripples to show some perspective in the water. So we'll try and do that but before I do it just, just a couple of words on, on this demo that I did um, you can see that on Saturday the, the place itself is a place called is, is Chesham, Chesham in Buckinghamshire just north of London, northwest of London uh, and I did it because the person who asked me to do the painting Love this tree. Now I don't think I've quite caught the colour of the late afternoon light in it, but it was difficult enough to do this as almost a photographic copy. But it was a good, good exercise. It was a, good, a, a real challenge, I have to say. So I was working at the edge with that one because it's not the way I would have done it had it been for me. I've done a much more impressionist painting of it in the style of not in the style, but in using the techniques of Arthur Madison. Uh, Monet with smaller dabs of paint. Anyway, enough of yak. Let's uh, go into in, into something like this. I'll, I'll wet the paper all over. Some of the paintings that I like, I, I get developed. I'm one of those do-it-yourself do printing machines. And sometimes they, they come out a little bit washed out. And then I can use that as a reference, quick reference for painting or adapting a painting from. So, nice and wet. My palette is uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey and burnt sienna. Eight colours, I don't use them all. I like the mix with the uh, sienna and, and the blue. But I could do it with, uh, you, can, you, can, you can make uh, that sort of the, the burnt umber by using the burnt sienna and a bit of grey uh, just to darken the, the, the red of the burnt sienna, you need a cloth handy. The paper is Fabriano, £130, cold pressed. And I get that from Art Discount, it comes in 100 sheet blocks. They don't pay me for saying that, but it's I, Stephen Crane put me onto it early on in, in my YouTube career, a couple of years ago nearly. And I've stayed with it, it's good for, for what we, we use it for. Right, so a bit of burnt sienna, fairly, fairly strong, just get it in the, in the water, all over, oh, I just, this, this will show the light in the, in the sky, so I'm going to mix uh, burnt, uh, uh, some light red and some some ultramarine. Don't have to rush this because the paper's really wet. Good, good, good rich colour there. And then this will be the sort of sky that's going across my windows at the moment. Raining, but there's still some lights coming coming in the sky, so coming right the way down. Down to the mountain areas, and then we'll bring some of that into the 
into the water down here. Okay, now thicken up. You can do anything when it's in this state. It's when it starts to dry you've got problems. Okay, let's get the dark over there. I still need a bit of a big cloud in the, in the middle. It'll all dry lighter than... That's a bit of movement. Right, I'll re-clip the paper. If you're struggling to use the hake, it's only because you haven't used it enough. Oops, it's a devil of a brush. It's, but it will repay all your efforts and perseverance but like everything it takes practice I, I've been painting with a hake for years and it was quite a time before I actually could paint something resembling one of Ron Ranson's instructional paintings in his early books about 30 or over 30 years ago now right we'll uh, put in some some background Oh, let's just a bit, bit of darker blue and then we'll put a bit, bit warmer no. just red and the, and the blue try to get this looking realistic background try not to repeat yourself Easy to do, you know. So we just have this one a bit higher. Going up to the background there. So that is different to the left. So we'll put in some a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of yellow. So it's just. different now I'm going to come down a bit further because my horizon is just a little bit too in the middle of that no mind Across. When your brush splits, just just tip, tip the tip of the brush in your water and just work it back to a to a nice flat edge if that's what you want. Okay, now that's the paper's the water soaking in now. Uh, let's just get that in there. So we're fairly straight in there. So that, that will do for our landscape. I don't want to put any detail, but I want to put some heavier, heavier trees in here. I'm going to build on the blue side. That's So I'm putting these dark ones in so that I can counter-change some light sails. And the, the, the sails that are in these little boats give the scale to the whole thing. Bit of yellow in there. I'll probably have to come down a little bit further. With that because it's bleeding down that's okay not that bothered about it but get different planes in here different colors okay right i'm just 
just going to just straighten it all up now. Bring that down a little bit further. Clean it up afterwards if I want to. Right, well I'm going to let that go. I'm just going to re-clip the paper again. Keep it nice and flat. So you don't have to stretch your paper before you paint on it. But really, 130 pounds is, is as right as I would want to go. I'm going to fix that now with a hairdryer. So take your headphones off. I'm going to re-wet the paper where, with, a, with a straight line across here. You need to be able to see that. Oops, dirty. Still dirty. Want clean water there. Right, get that. Right, now we can put those dark colours in. So just touch them in. And put in the sort of colours that you, you see behind, so they've got some blue in there. I'm going to superimpose a bit of landscape over this, but we've got this dark, lovely dark blue. So just approximating the colours in the distance through there. Now let's just go with some dark on that edge. One of my favourite two colours, ultramarine and burnt sienna. Just touch it in. Now hopefully that will bleed down. I just I love that bit of colour in there. Right, we'll let that go. Clean my brush. I can't do a, a mirror image, I'm not that good at it. Well, not with a demonstration anyway. Right, okay, so I'll dry that off.
I want to get that as uh, flat as possible because I'm now going to attempt the impossible put some dry brush on there. So dry brush uh, is not literally dry brush, it's just with a, with a, with some thicker paint on your on your damp brush and with sky colours and then just Right, okay. So that hopefully will give an impression of ripples. <coughs> I might put a few in. Now I want to put in some uh, some landscape coming across here, so hold on to your ears. And if I remember, I can to lift out a bit of that to get a bigger brush. That my, one of my big rounds. Now that's the half inch, just the inch. Out. So I'll do that at the end, it's thoroughly dry. Just lift out a bit of colour in there to just show some ruffling in this. Right, okay, back to the hake. Now we want some nice rich colours in the foreground. So red, umber, all the, the lovely reds. Burnt umber is a very, well, it's not really red, is it? But the burnt sienna certainly is. A bit of blue. No, I'm leaving paint grey out of a lot of this. Uh, just put it, all different colours in here. Some raw sienna going in there. <coughs> right, some rocks in there. Pull the sleeves up. Try to vary these things, otherwise, it'll look like a regiment walking across the landscape. Just all you need really. Just picking out the lights on the tops of the so, okay back to it. Alright, uh, now we can uh, flick in some some grass. Overdo it. Um, I think we could probably put in some posts. Uh, with a flat brush, dark. Just what was a sort of a a bit of a jetty or some something just, a, just broken down. Just just something that was there and is no longer functional. It's just a bit of a Bit of nothing really. I lost one of the brushes. Uh, must have been a big rigger. It's gone on the floor somewhere. Come. Right, we will pretend it's somewhere there. On the floor. 
it won't be far. Right, so some, some, some bit of detail in here. I'm just using the, the uh, burnt sienna and some ultramarine. Just some stunted growth here. Just a bit of detail in here. Sort of a dark sky making all this dark. Don't get carried away with all this sort of stuff. Easier said than done, I know, once you start getting loose with the rigor. But I'm just putting in some nice rich darks now. Uh, just, just with the edge of the rigor. Okay, right now some, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, take out some sails if I find my tissue <coughs> and just soften oh it isn't no it's on the floor lift out some sails Just loosening it, but be very careful. You can do it with a piece of copper piece of card. And there are no refractions on these because we're going into the still water here. I maybe could have uh, put more of a colour in there of this, but. I didn't want to, I wanted to, just to leave it as it is. Nice and clean. And we can put in little bits of flicks and roofs and stuff. So little bits of detail here, don't shade, bit nondescript maybe, but hey, just, just a bit of chimney, something over here. Tower. Oh. The church there. Just. Uh, just a bit of darker buildings around there. Oh, not uh, buildings, just a bit of foliage. Yeah. Okay, that will do. Now, with the tissue, well, if, if I need a tissue, let's just. Just lift it out 
just a bit of this. As Ron would say, we could do this with a thirsty hake. So it just shows a bit of a bit of ruffling. That that's it. Signature, put it. Saw a great film last week at the actual cinema. The uh, Theory of Everything with Eddie Redmayne, David Threffle. Wonderful, wonderful film. I see he's just got a, a, a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor. Hope he gets the Oscar as well. It is an absolutely superb film. You would think that Sir Stephen Hawking, Hawking being so badly disabled, but he's still got a lot of humour. Bird there, that'll do. Right, we'll, we'll put that in, in the usual mount. I'm really just relaxing now after seven hours painting on that acrylic. I'm really struggled with that. Uh, Blue. Okay, so there we are. Uh, I'll have a somewhere. Well, there we are. So, very simple scene, but to show the reflections, probably as it would be more realistic, this, this would probably be more broken up. I'll come down a bit far with that, but I hope you get the idea. Bit of detail on the on the far bank and and the distance here and so there you are. So that is uh, reflections on a on a lake. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Have a go at it. I'm sure you do it better than I can. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. I'll zoom you in as per usual. Let's just move the camera around. Right, there we are. So I come across. So that looks like a church, doesn't it? Just buildings there, some sails. So with the scales and those little buildings, you can judge now the size and height of those mountains behind. Foreground, very, very simple. It looks realistic. It looks rocky. And look how easy it is with your piece of card. But persevere with all this. If you can't do it, it's not because you haven't got any talent, it's because you haven't done enough of it. And so many people, they start and they don't continue, they give up before they can actually do something. Believe you me, I've got no special ability. I've just done a lot of it. Okay, enough from me. Goodbye.